Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for our breakfast meal prep for the week. I'm having lots of preps ready to go for our mornings, they're super hectic. So I have all kinds of breakfast ready to go. These are the three that we're gonna have this week for the whole family. So I am first gonna start out with uh, French toast cups. I have hot dog buns, eggs, uh, vanilla, almond milk, some sugar, and some cinnamon. And then you guys know that I love these silicone cupcake molds. They are the best. So I'm gonna make these in those. I am going to use three eggs. So I'm gonna crack the eggs um, into the bowl and then I'm going to have, I'm gonna use ham or hot dog buns, I'm sorry, cause we had some extra hot dog buns and I've made this with hamburger buns before which it turns out really awesome. So have these extra hot dog buns. You definitely don't want them to go to waste. So I'm gonna use them for this French toast cups and they're really good. And um, they're really, the boys love these. You know, they're a little sweet with the sugar, but they're a nice little treat to have. So I have my eggs, almond milk. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla and then a little dash of cinnamon and I will mix all of this together and then I'm going to dice up the hot dog buns and then I'll be ready to go for these really awesome French toast cups. So I usually just put my cupcake liners on a cookie sheet. You can put them in a muffin tin as well, but I am just gonna put them on a cookie sheet. I'm not gonna make a really big batch this week cause I only had four hot dog buns, but I'm going to make um, quite a few. It'll last us for the week. And so I'm going to add in first the diced up little pieces of bread. So I, like I said, I'm using the hot dog buns, but you can use a lot of different types of bread for French toast. Um, they all turn out really great, especially with the nice egg mixture and the sugar. So these are really good. I have all the bread in there and I'm going to pour on top the egg mixture. I'm gonna try and get it all in the cups, but sometimes I kind of spill a little bit. But I'm going to put as much egg as I can on top and then it kind of seeps down and soaks in the bread. So I will just keep pouring the egg mixture on top until I run out. And um, these will be really delicious and nice and sweet and ready to go for the week. I'm gonna bake these. Uh, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I'm gonna bake them for about 16 to 18 minutes. So while those are baking, I'm going to make my overnight oats. The boys, uh, Zachary specifically, loves overnight oats right now. So I have my raisins for this one and I have my oats, cinnamon, brown sugar, and a tiny bit of salt. So I'm gonna use my measuring cup and I'm gonna use a smaller one. I have a quarter of a cup and it's a little bit easier to pour into the mason jar. So I'm gonna use two because I'm gonna use half a cup of oats and I'm gonna pour half a cup into each mason jar. I'm going to use half of a box of raisins for each jar, and then I'll add in my dash of cinnamon, a dash of salt, and then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of brown sugar, and then I'm gonna do three quarters of a cup of almond milk. So all of that will be mixed in there and ready to go, and these oats will soak in the refrigerator overnight. They'll be perfect in the morning. Um, they're really good hot or cold, so you can eat these cold or you can heat them up in the microwave for a tiny bit and warm them up. Either way, really delicious filling breakfast, and my kids love oatmeal, so I love having these on hand.
Now I'm gonna make my favorite breakfast, uh, egg cups, which I could make these every week. They're just the best. I have my silicone molds again, I have my eggs, cheese, milk, some leftover zucchini that we had for dinner last night, made some extra. And then I made some air fryer bacon, which I've been obsessed with lately. So I'm gonna make the egg cups with all these ingredients. I am going to use 10 eggs for this. For this week, I'm gonna make a really big batch. Uh, these are really great to freeze if you wanna make a bunch and freeze half. That is awesome. They are perfect in the freezer. You just heat them up in the microwave in the morning when you want them. I love to have a little bit of um, avocado as well with these, it's just so good. So I have my eggs, I'm going to add in a half a cup of milk. I'm going to add in my cooked zucchini and my shredded cheddar cheese. Um, this is all really good, also really good with um, feta cheese. If you have some feta cheese, it's really good in these egg cups as well. But I'm gonna use cheddar and then now I'm going to use my pre-cooked bacon that I made my air fryer. I will link, um, the video of my air fryer bacon in the description box because I have been making it all the time lately. It is really good and it's really great to have just some on hand for salads and sandwiches and egg cups and breakfasts and all kinds of stuff. So I love making a big old batch of air fryer bacon. So I'm gonna cut it into small pieces, add it into my eggs. I will mix it all the way through and then this will be ready to go into my um, little molds to make my egg cups. So I have my silicone molds. Again, I just can't get enough of these. They really are the best. I got them on Amazon, so I will link them in the description if you need some new ones. These are awesome. I love that I don't have to spray cooking spray in them because I just feel like cooking spray makes a mess a lot of the time. And these silicone molds, everything just pops right out. So it's really clean, easy um, to clean, and I just love them. So I will link them in the description box. So I'm gonna scoop about a half a cup of the egg mixture into each little silicone mold, and then I'm gonna bake these in the oven for, I have it preheated to 350 degrees, but I'm gonna heat, uh, cook these for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then they'll be ready to go for the week. A nice, big, huge batch of egg cups, nice and healthy, um, high in protein, and ready to go for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's breakfast ideas. They're all delicious. I love them all. Uh, click subscribe to my channel for more meal prepping ideas, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.